welcome everyone. So tonight, what I'm going to be doing is, we only have an hour, so um, I'm, I'm going to take a very simple uh, machine learning model. I'm going to try to uh, do end-to-end. -end. Hopefully, we're going to be able to do, you know, a first quick pass and then, um, you know, go back to our code and um, uh, process some improvements. So I'm just going to um, open a buffer. There we go. Um, I'm going to put some Python mode, and then um, I'm going to activate PySpark, start my environment. Um, I'm also going to open a REPL. Um, I'm not a big fan of notebooks. Um, I find it uh, a little bit easier to use development environment. Um, if you are lucky enough to be able to work on a Databricks environment, um, uh, there's Databricks Connect that you can use. Um, otherwise, uh, usually uh, what I do is I develop my code and then I promote it. Um, I, I find, with the exception of a few experiments, I, I find that I'm more productive uh, when I have all my uh, my keyboard shortcuts. Um, all right, let's get started. Um, I'm misaligned, so from PySpark, let's SQL. I should probably, here, I'm just gonna zoom in. Um, it's going to make stuff a little bit bigger. Um, in PySpark, SQL, import, um, Spark session. That's spark equals spark session. Um, uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Hot name simple and to and ML process. Um, all right, okay. Uh, perfect. Now, what do I want over here? Um, I'm going to customize um, my uh, driver. I'm using uh, Spark locally, um, and there's a good reason for this. Um, first of all, I don't want the round trip. Um, when you're working with big data, it takes always a little bit more time. And if you get to think of it, if my ML model takes you know more than a few seconds to <laughs> train. Uh, we're still going to be there very late, uh, but the process is still the same. Um, memory, and then um, I'm going to use, um, ah, what the hell, let's do it, 8 gigs. All right, uh, perfect. So I'm going to do this, and then before I get um, everything uh, up and running and starting, I'm just going to get my data set. Uh, so for those who have uh, are, are current with my book, I'm going to reuse the data set that is, um, if I'm not mistaken, in Chapter 10 or Chapter 11. I know we reorganized some of the material recently. Um, it's basically the data set that contains a ton of recipes, and we're going to try to predict if um, recipe is a dessert. So uh, I'll show you the shape of the data frame, but you're going to see it's a very easy um, um uh, problem. Um, the goal here is not to pick something that it's going to take forever. Um, so I'm reading the data. Um, we have a CSV files. Um, I'm inferring the schema, um, and there's also a header in the uh, in the data. Um, as as we're um, as we're going to see, the data is not fully clean, um, but it's still going to give us. A good um, a good sense of um, there we go. So I sent my stuff. Um, uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Uh, there we go. Yes. Uh, here we go. If I'm not mistaken, this is where my data is now. Perfect. All right. 
So I'm going to do a little bit of exploration. Um, I'm just going to get this a little bit bigger. Um, over here, I have uh, my um, uh, my iPad, where usually uh, when I code, I always keep a notebook with me um, if I need to remember stuff. Um, so now what I'm going to do is, there we go, this way. And um, I'm going to move to, I'm just going to make sure, there we go, this way. Um, I'm, it's going to be easier to show everything. So um, if I do a print schema of my food, uh, you can see that basically I have a ton of variables. Um, I'm going to go all the way up to the top. Um, so we have the title, uh, we have the rating, the calories, uh, protein, fat, sodium. Um, there's a hashtag cake week, hashtag wasteless, um, and then a bunch of features. Uh, so the one that we're going to be focusing on is there is an attribute that is called dessert, um, which is a little bit uh, down um, on the Ds. A um, couple of things that I want to show is um, uh, some of the features, because a CSV file can pretty much contain like any any types of character, are having a little bit of an issue. You know, there's some characters that don't appear either because, um, and, and as you can see over here, like it's a good example, like we have the Bon Appetit, um, and then you have a Bon App blank blank tit, um, which, uh, you know, can have there's a couple of data quality issues. I'm not going to address them at first. Um, I just want to see you know, what the data contains. Um, but eventually, you know, this is something um, I, I would spend a little bit of time. So uh, if I am dessert, 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 there you go. This is the target that we're going to be looking at. So of course, you know, if, if you're looking at this, um, um, if, if you're taking an example like uh, eggplant, there's a very good chance that no recipe that contains eggplant. I mean, as far as I'm concerned, never had a dessert that contains eggplant, but um, it gives us, you know, good blueprint to be able to um, um, to um, uh, get started. Now, I'm just gonna go and um, you know, I'm just gonna go down. There we go. And uh, what I'm going to be looking for is uh, food. Uh, there you go, print. I'm going to look at food to count. And then um, uh, how many, um, what's the length of um, the length of the data frame and the width of the data frame? So I have a little over 20,000 records, um, 680 columns. A lot of them. Um, are, are going to go um, because either they're not useful or uh, they don't contain something that is relevant for us. So the first thing that I'm going to do is um, uh, I, I'm just going to clean, um, you know, the um, I'm drawing a blank. <laughs> I'm going to clean the column names. Um, so um, there's a couple of character that I want to be able to remove. Um, I have uh, pop, 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 I have space that I'm going to want to replace with, actually. Um, there we go. It's probably going to make sense. I have a space that I want to replace by an underscore. Um, there's going to be uh, also uh, a hyphen that I also want to replace with an underscore. And then um, there's going to be a slash all replaced with an underscore as well. Um, there's the um, ampersand. Oh, ampersand where? There we go. Uh, that I'm just going to replace with and, um, and there we go. And then I'm just going to wrap this uh, over here. Up, up. There we go. And then I'm just going to put that over all here into a list. And then, um, so this is basically uh, where I'm going to want to replace this. And basically, what I'm going to um, want to remove is also the uh, all the characters that are not either letters or digits or the underscore, obviously. So I'm just going to create a quick function: um, clean columns uh, name. Then um, here we go. Usually, I'm pretty keen on um, so this is a cleaning dictionary. 
there we go. Up. Perfect. And then um, for um, before, after, and cleaning uh, dictionary. Um, there we go. Uh, ba, 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 um, answer, um, replace before and after. Um, so before we get there, um, answer equal name. I'm a big fan. I, I don't know. It's probably something that I, I don't know where I picked up, but uh, I, I call my return value answer. <laughs> and then now, uh, basically, what I want to do is um, I want to uh, filter um, everything that is uh, so return um, this um, so a character for uh, character and answer um, if uh, my character is alpha numerical um, or the character is a digit um, or character is equal to an underscore um, and now this is going to return me a list um, so basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to um, use that neat little trick with there we go. Um, I should probably, there we go. I'm just going to make sure that um, there we go. That's going to make it more sense. I think that this all makes sense. Um, now um, I'm just going to send my there we go. I'm just going to test it a little bit. Um, clean column name and then uh, I'm just going to put ah there we go wheat gluten free um, well it doesn't really matter that I forgot the last e over here and then I'm just going to add a bunch of garbage um, and then there you go so we're able to see that you know we replace the and uh, just to keep you know the semantic of the ampersand um, and remove everything that's not a character, um, and then um, so now we know that we have 680 columns. So basically, um, what I'm going to be um, doing over here is um, I'm going to use a quick little trick uh, where when you pass uh, the 2DF method. Um, uh, you can pass, um, you know, a list that you unpack with the star um, and then sanitize. Uh, oops, sorry, it's not sanitize. Uh, clean um, column name, um, name for name in food columns. Okay. All right, and now if I do, uh, if I look at foo.columns, uh, you're able to see that, you know, everything has been removed. And now one of the things that I'm going to look is I'm going to do a uh, set, um, and then, uh, sorry, there we go. And then I'm going to do the length. And I still have 680. So, um, you know, one of the things is, as I was cleaning the columns, I uh, just wanted to make sure that, you know, there's nothing that's clashing. Um, because PySpark will accept two columns to be named the same um, if they have an origination that's different. So when you do some join, if they have some tables that have the same column, PySpark is not going to choke too much. But um, other than that, it's it's never a good idea. Um, you'll get the optimizer confused, and it's just bad. All right, I think that we are uh, pretty much ready to go. So um, I'm gonna. I'm just going to give, um, you know, a sense of, um, you know, what the EDA is going to look like. Um, I, I don't want to be like extremely thorough at first. Um, I want to go as fast as possible to go to model. So I'm going to do, um, you know, food select, um, and I'm going to take uh, yuka because it's easy to type. Um, and then I'm going to use that summary method. And there you go. So basically you see that I have, um, uh, 
just to give some perspective, uh, there's five records that are null, so I don't have any value. Um, the mean um, is a little bit odd. It's very low and the standard deviation, there's not a whole lot of standard deviation. And you can see that the min and the max, like it's zero and one. So it, it gives me a good insight that um, they're binary. And as a matter of fact, most of the um, of the columns are, are um, uh, binary. So um, one of the thing that I'm, I'm going to um, look is I'm going to create something like a quick um, exploration. And I'm just going to gather all of the columns that are binary. I'm going to wrap them into um, you know, a, a list of features. I'm going to build a quick machine learning pipeline. And I'm going to generate something. Um, I, I'm not even going to look at some of the other features for now um, because we just want to have a first pass. Um, and after that, uh, we'll be able to spend a little bit more time. Um, what it's going to provide, though, is I'm assuming um, that a lot of my features are going to be, uh, you know, a lot of them, if you look like watercress, wasteless, all that sort of stuff, they're binary. Um, so I'm going to have a lot of variables. There's a very good chance that my model is going to be crazy overfit. Um, but, you know, as I'm, as I'm splitting between um, training and testing, um, if I have a performance that, you know, let's say, uh, I'm, you know, 70, 80, 90 percent accurate. Uh, well, it gives you a good insight that you know there's already a lot of signal that you're getting there. If the if if your model performance is absolutely abysmal, um, well, it probably will mean that you you're going to need to do you know, uh, well, regardless, you're you're going to want to do feature shrinkage. There's a lot of features, um, but you, you already have the first pass. Like use the model as something that you know you can iterate over and you can explore. Um, I, I like my first model is always a throwaway thing. Like I, I pick whatever, I build something, and then it gives me kind of like the pad is carved. I'm I feel comfortable about continuing, um, and it's fun. You know, you want to do machine learning.